just don't get how the hell I'm gonna get done. Eight kilos. I'm not fucking gonna make it. Mm. God, I love this. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. You and me, pal. You and me. and welcome to um, well part two of the world's longest haul let me just get a little bit of coffee here i had a um, vegetarian sandwich just before it started so i need some coffee and yeah uh, right i wasn't planning on starting this early uh so uh, let's just sit here for a while let's have a look at the map uh, see where we are. We're down. There we are. <laughs> uh, which is quite a long way from where we started in Vladivostok. We made it all the way up here, which is incredible. 27,000 kilometers to go. We've already done 3,000 kilometers in three hours, which is bonkers. Way more than I thought we would be able to do. I didn't have a donut. That was a... It was just a vegetarian sandwich shaped like a donut <laughs> how the hell do you think i managed to make it to 97 <laughs> of course it was a donut uh, i hope this time we will be able to make it all the way to tiny tiny and please let Tiny be a huge city. I want Tiny to be the biggest city in game, to be honest. Uh, probably isn't going to be that, but yeah. Uh, so that's my goal for tonight, I think. Tiny, maybe even go beyond Tiny. Let's see. Still, we're going to have a lot of hauling to do before we reach our final destination, which is obviously then the city of Moron. <clears throat> so uh there's our truck rjl t730 and i need to change the steering wheel on it we're gonna do that before we start mm. god i really need more coffee i think since we're just gonna sit here for a little bit that we're gonna start with just that Fixing the steering wheel 
I don't know how I was able to create this truck and not add the V8 steering wheel. Now we're going to do something about that. Uh, because, oops. because this is still a little too early for us to start the actual hauling. There it is. We have the exclusive. Doesn't look that exclusive, to be honest. Uh, Nordbau, thank you very, very much for the 500 bits there. Thank you very much, sir. There it is. There's the V8 steering wheel, and we have the wooden version of it, but we don't have any wood in the truck, so I'm going to go with that instead. Confirm that order, please. Thank you very much, sir. And, um... Oops. Let's just park her back where we were. There we go. How are you guys doing? Everyone's good. Uh, for those of you who didn't see part one of this, we're doing a 30,000 kilometer haul through Eastern Express. It's a paid map mod that you can't really get your hands on it, uh, unless you're Russian, of course. Uh, we're doing Europe after that. That's the SCS base map and DLCs before we are ending the live stream in seven, eight days or so on EAA going from uh, south to north. In total, 30,287, 88 kilometers. So it's a, a it's a proper long haul, I think. We don't have promos here, Mango. I don't know why you're asking me with that. EAA, Eastern Express, E-E-E-E-A. That's it. That's all we're using. Storm Gaming, my Christmas was epic, to be honest. One of the brilliant things about... The only brilliant thing about COVID-19, I think, is that I was able to spend this Christmas with just my kids and no one else. I have literally never done that before. So that was a great experience for me personally, at least. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas as well. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Of course, next year, I do hope we don't have COVID-19. I do hope I get to spend the, the holidays with my families. But um, my family sounds like I have two. My family. Uh, but uh, just having it with the, with the kids this year, fantastic. <laughs> Why not promotes Mango? Uh, <laughs> um, it's causing problems. People keep asking me to combine this thing with uh, Pro Mods and other Map Mods. This part here is the base map and DLCs. Everything from here and to the left of this, or actually from the left of this, is, is the Eastern Express map. So you can't add Roex. You can't add pro mods because that interferes here as well. You can't add uh, Rust map, obviously. You can't add Southern Region or the Great Step. You can't add uh, Product Turkey. Uh, and since you can't add uh, pro mods, you can't add Middle East. What do you want to combine it with? There's nothing you can combine it with. Uh, so, um, so, yeah. The only thing that makes kind of sense to uh, to combine it with is either EEA, as I'm doing here, or perhaps China map, uh, CH map. Uh, but other than that, it is really just a map you play by itself. It's not even on the 1 to 19 scale, it's on the 1 to 15-ish scale. So, um, yeah, just run it as a standalone map, more or less. Let's see, we have another 10 minutes before we are starting this. Not your bad, Mango. It's not your bad. If you don't have the map, if you don't know what it looks like, where exactly it is located, it's impossible to know that you can't combine it with, with anything. But I've, I've said it like a million times, I think. You can't combine it with other maps. Uh, Mango, you can't... You can't... You can't. I still have it 
tiny bit of donut somewhere in there. In the beard, probably. Actually, yes, in the beard as well. You cannot have my beard. No, it's not for sale. Uh, Quentin, I was actually thinking about doing China Map instead, but it turns out combining this with EAA allows you to do an even longer haul than you could if you used China Map. Uh, yeah, it, 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 there was no meat in my donut, so obviously it's a veggie sandwich. Uh, let's, let's turn it into daylight because it's getting very dark here. Oh, and let's fix the lights as well. Roof auxiliary, front auxiliary, there we go. Actually, just leave it like that because it's only 7.30 in the evening. And I would like to wait until it's around 10 o'clock before I turn off the lights and get some sleep. Uh... If you add whipped cream as a layer on top of the chocolate, yes, it's a veggie sandwich. Yes, because there's no meat in it. So that's a veggie sandwich. Why it's so dark? Because it's uh, eight o'clock in the evening and we are way east in Russia. I will make it day. The thing is that I'm just going to have to wait for a few minutes more uh, before I do, because I don't want to spend a ton of time sitting here uh, burning daylight because we are doing still another 26,990 kilometers. Uh, let's uh, let's have a look at at the damage damage uh, six percent damage to the wheels only that is on my truck nine percent damage to the trailer can't repair it it's not mine and then we have three percent damage to the cargo which is unfortunately caused by me not having a um, RTX 3090 graphics card. Uh, someone was not able to shut up on the chat and that distracted me. Obviously not my fault at all. Uh, <laughs> Delay one, thank you very much for hosting my stream. Uh, China map only suitable for 137? No, Arthur. It's available for 139 as well. Uh, there's an updated version of it. <laughs> of love <laughs> I have plenty of time uh, I'm gonna be down seven kilos by the end of June so there's there's plenty of time Rupesh Kaffel thank you for hosting my stream as well you want me to explain what a fjord is uh, Abhishek yes I can do that while we're waiting let's let's discuss let's talk about fjords uh, where are we where is uh, there we are there's Norway Norway have excellent fjords. So the land is the dark gray hair and the light gray thing here is, uh, is the sea. This is a fjord. Um, it's created by ice during the ice age, not the movie, the actual ice age. Um, and so it's become a very deep, deep, it's a uh, it's it's a uh, valley, but it's, it's on the sea, on the under the water under the sea, so it's a fjord. I guess that explains it. And there we go again. Thank you very much, Samuel, for asking that very excellent question. There is Eastern Express, a mod you can combine with other mods. Yes, you can combine it with whatever truck mod you would like and whatever trailer mod you'd like, even any traffic mod you like regarding map mods no mm, only map mods located on the eastern side of europe uh so sorry western side of europe so eaa as we do in this case or china map perhaps uh star ride welcome uh, and it's um uh, and it's time to get some sleep, I think. Uh, of course, I need to turn off the engine first. Um, okay.
I was kind of hoping I was going to be able to get some sleep. Let's see if we can get that sign back saying that we can sleep. Come on. No? Wow. Wow. It completely disappeared. Let's see. Okay. Um, so it's over there then. Fine. No, it's not. It's behind us. I'm gonna back it up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. You know what? Screw that. I'm gonna do it the good old way instead. We're setting the time to 5.30 in the morning. Now, why is it saying two o'clock in the morning? That's weird. <laughs> there we are, five in the morning. Uh, which is plenty of sunlight, daylight for this start. Uh, I think it's time to be time to get on the way towards moron so during my two hour uh, it wasn't really two hours uh, break was it but during the break I uh, actually managed to watch the last episode of The Mandalorian season 2 episode 16 I'm really looking forward to uh, season three. Uh, it's it's a brilliant show. I hope you've seen it. Uh, but it kind of feels like we won't see Yoda in a while. Baby Yoda again in a bit. Where we are right now, Philip. Uh, you came in a little late there. Uh, <laughs> I just showed the map before we started. Uh, we um, we are in eastern Russia, and in literally a couple of days, we will reach uh, Moscow. Ducky or Ufushur. Uh Welcome, my friends. Yeah, why did you miss the first part? What's your excuse? Let me guess, two meters of snow? <laughs> uh, I'll be check how I came to name my channel Wombat Trucker. Um, Wombat is a name that I've been using on different games for many, many years. It used to be Sergeant Wombat because I did... Um, FPS games, mainly. War games, things like that. Uh, but when I... Uh, quite a few years ago decided to go with only doing trucking, uh, I was... I stopped doing racing games, uh, and then I started doing shooting games and war games, and... During that period, it was Sergeant Wombat, and then I decided to move away from that as well and go to only basically doing trucking as I did, as I've been doing now for three years uh, on YouTube. Uh, it was simply because Sergeant Wombat doesn't sound right for a trucker. So I kept Wombat because I, I kind of think Wombat sounded cool, and I needed to add something to that because there is already a guy called just Wombat or a channel called Wombat 
on there, so I couldn't use that name for some reason. And I figured, well, I'm I'm gonna do trucking, so why not solve Rombat Trucker then? So that's just how it happened. Uh, so this is part two. We've done 3,000 kilometers and since we were able to do 3,000 kilometers for the first part, I'm pretty confident we will be able to do another 3,000 kilometers now. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do 3,000 kilometers per or 1,000 kilometers per hour once we reach EAA though. Uh, so um, because the roads have a tendency to be pretty bad over there. Uh, so I don't expect this to be just a 30 hour haul. I expect it to be a bit longer than that. Which is why I'm gonna do two hauls, two three hour hauls um, some of the days over the next week or so. Um, other days because it appears to be Monday tomorrow so I gotta work. Uh, there will only be one haul then tomorrow, one additional part tomorrow, part three. Same thing on uh, Tuesday, just one haul or one three hour um, part. And the same thing on Wednesday. Uh, then on New Year's Eve, the 31st, on Thursday, we're going to do two parts again. So it's going to be like that. Whenever I have the time to do that, I'm going to do two three hour uh, parts to this and the days I have to work it's only going to be one part to it but it's going to be holding every day until we reach Moron and I expect that there will be in total probably around 14 parts to it could be that we can actually do this in 10 or 11 parts only if we're able to keep it up uh, I honestly didn't expect we would be able to do a thousand kilometers per hour here on the AA since it's the scaling is slightly different from uh, from the standard 1 to 19 scale maps it's more like 1 to 15 you bought a steering wheel Uffe uh, which steering wheel did you buy Hi, best boy. Yeah, well, uh, Philip, that's why I'm calling this the world's longest haul. <laughs> it's actually something I do once per year. Uh, two years ago, the longest haul you could possibly do back then was uh, not even 20,000 kilometers. It was 19,750 kilometers or so. So that's what we did two years ago, and that was on, actually on CH or China map uh, to to Ross uh, last year we were able to do 25 26 thousand kilometers this year we're doing 30 thousand kilometers so it's it's getting better and better Thank you, best boy. I'm very happy to hear that I was able to help you. What the? You got a Trustmaster 360 Modena racing wheel for five euros? Wow. Uh, if it's a Trustmaster, I'm not really sure you need additional drivers for it. This is part two. Yes, Michael. Uh, this is part two. Imagine doing that, uh, a haul like this IRL, I would totally do it because the payout for this haul is 1,128,723 euros. Obviously, we're not going to make a million uh, because we have some damage to the cargo, but still, it's a lot of money. Hi, all of them. Uh, if, uh, I'm not sure you actually need any drivers 
specifically for that wheel, I would go to Trustmaster's website and look for for probably the Trustmaster application, whatever that's called. Um, um, and maybe that'll take care of drivers, whatever you need for it. Uh, don't know how old Imodina is, but I'm pretty sure I've seen or heard people using it on on Windows 10. So it shouldn't be a problem, really. Other than, of course, being difficult finding drivers in this case. Ah, thank you, Reese. I hope that explains it for you, uh, Ufa. So check out the device manager, right click it and configure it. That's a weird way by Trustmaster to go around it, but if it works, it works. Well, if, uh, is, is Windows 10 detecting it as a Modena racing wheel? Or isn't it detected at all? <laughs> so, some people claim there's no app for Trustbuster, others say there is an app. <laughs> hmm. Uh, perhaps Mango, if you have the link to the Trustmaster application there, maybe you could post it on the Discord server for, for Ufa. Aha, it's not detected at all. Well, that is a problem. The question then is, does it even work? Because if it isn't detected, it doesn't need drivers to be detected. Uh, the traffic is here, uh, but there's not a lot of it right right now, but there is traffic here. There's one going past us, but these parts of Russia perhaps don't have a lot of traffic either, so... It appears that it's not visible in the device manager crumbler crumbled so um, that probably explains it hi Marion I didn't see you there Just relax, I haven't changed traffic, but now we can see there's more traffic coming in. Um, in some places there's a lot of traffic, in other places there's a little traffic. Uh, Buffteo, you're asking me a question that is absolutely impossible to answer. Where to add Project Balkans is probably just below Macedonia. But whether a fix is required now, I don't know. Uh, I will probably not ever use Project Balkans again, to be honest. Uh, yeah, Great America. Um, some major changes are coming to Great America, so... Um, I 
I don't know what Canon accessories are. Uh, you mean cabin accessories, perhaps? Uh, well, I am a fan of it, but I always get complaints about it when I use uh, things that uh, affects the view, <laughs> so to speak. Ducky is here, though. Uh, that is, of course, the most important thing, to have Ducky with us. Uh, he's been part of all my world's longest hauls, both on, on in 2018, 2019, and this year, of course. Uh, Home Alone, uh, I have no idea if it's on TV. It probably is. It probably is. Thing is, I don't really never watch TV. I use streaming services because I want to be able to choose when I watch something. So, so, um, uh, but I'm, I'm sure they show it on TV every year. Arthur, that's awesome. Now you have the map and the heavy cargo DLC. Now you also need to make sure that you have all the map DLCs. Uh, because you're going to grow tired of just the base map pretty quickly. I admire those of you who can actually do things like that with uh, with an Arduino. I well, yeah, it's not for me. I mean, I can take parts and put them together, but creating something like that, I wouldn't have the slightest idea where to begin. So we are reaching Bogomiagovo. Bogomiagovo. That's probably not how we pronounce it. Nice, Arthur. Of course, if you want to use map combos, I'm afraid you will have to to uh, to get your hands on the road to the Black Sea as well. Especially if you want to use pro mods. Uh, but getting the rest of them, very very good starts. You will not regret it. Marion, you do that and I use it on a map mod to make sure that I'm not allowed to use that map mod again. <laughs> That's a nice pass. Yeah, I do have an Android app as well that you, that I use to, uh, to turn any touch screen into a uh, button box i have that as well uh, i actually have it on like two smartphones and a tablet thing is that um it's always a pain keeping those devices uh on power when i need them so i'm not using it and i won't have to use it uh much longer. I will actually get a proper button box and a brand new shifter, SKRS style, uh, sometime early next year. Uh, it is being made as we speak, actually. I'm really, really looking forward to that. And perhaps that is when I should do my live tour, or not, not a live tour, my 
uh, room tour when I have that button box and the um, and the new shifter. Uh, uh, not, nothing personal. Uh, oh, sorry, you, that was for Mango. That was, wasn't for me. Never mind. Uh, Reese, uh, I have actually not ordered it from anywhere where you can actually buy it. I am very fortunate. I have a viewer in the US. He creates these things for himself and I guess for friends, perhaps. Uh, but he doesn't take orders for it, but he offered to make me both a button box and the shifter he creates. Uh, he has a 3D printer. Uh, so he's doing that and creating it very personalized for me. So uh, I will get the buttons in the layout I want them. Uh, the shifter will be, I promise you, it will be very, very personal. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but of course it's, it's going to take perhaps longer than it would normally take if you order it for someone who, who makes them and sells them on, I don't know, um, some online service. Uh, but I'm fine with that. Uh, he just wanted to do it, uh, create it for me. So I'll pay for obviously then. Uh, shipping and for all the parts but the actual labor the work he puts into it he's he's doing that for free uh, so it's gonna be very cheap relatively speaking um, and most importantly it's gonna be very personal um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to having that hair of course I will put up a ton of photos of it on discord uh, so you can see it there. Uh, will I get a G29? You know what? With that shifter, if if I feel that that shifter has everything I need, uh, combining that with the button box he's making for me, I don't really see any reason anymore to to keep the steering wheel I have. I will be... Because the main reason I love my G25 and the G27 is because of the shifter. And so when my new shifter arrives, there's no real reason for me to cling on to my G25 anymore. So I don't know what I'm gonna get. Uh, a G29, perhaps. Uh, maybe a Trustmaster, something, something completely different. I really don't know yet. Reese, I am very, very fortunate. I have fantastic uh, subscribers. Uh, I, I love you all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, it's, it's something I've been dreaming about. And then you read these stories about people ordering things, they even pay for it, and it never arrives. Um, that kind of scares you away from buying button boxes. And, and of course, button boxes are very expensive uh, shifters skrs's are very expensive things so um yeah i'm i'm, I'm just very very fortunate uh and i i can't wait to show you what it looks like when it arrives i've seen some pictures already um i know i will love it T150 has a 1080 degree rotation. I'm pretty happy with the rotation I have on my on my um, G25 900 degrees. That's more than enough. I think 2080. I'm sure it's not 1800. Is it really 2080? Sorry, 1080. I think it's 1800. But never mind. It is different than what I'm used to. So. I might not go for that. I think I'm going to stick with 900 degrees. Above everything, I look forward to having a steering wheel I don't have to be as careful with as I have had to be with my G25. I'm not doing, I haven't really done any racing games 
uh, in quite a few years, mainly because I don't have the reflexes anymore that you need for that, but also because I'm, I'm trying to take care of my steering wheel. Buying something else, I don't really have to be that worried about breaking it or, or having any uh, issues with it caused by me using it, breaking it. Uh, yeah, um, let's see. It, it could very well be that I buy a, a trust master. Um, I've always had a Logitech steering wheel. It's, at least it feels like it. Uh, because I've had this steering wheel for more than 10 years. I never had any problems with it. It has always worked for me. Uh, so I can't complain about the quality of, of Logitech's steering wheels. But, I mean, compare the G29 with the latest and greatest from, from say, Trustmaster, for instance. Uh, you kind of want something better. Ow. Uh, Golden 1994, where you can find links to the map mods that I'm using uh, on YouTube in the video descriptions uh, because I never use a map mod including map combos without posting also the links to the maps that I'm using. So you'll always find it in the video description. Matt P, I'm having a blast. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Merry Christmas, by the way. Yeah, I, I think that I'm going to go for probably something a little bit more expensive regarding a new steering wheel, simply because it's something that I will be using a lot. It has to be a, a very good quality. Uh, preferably a steering wheel where I can switch between different steering wheels even. Um, just pray that one day some genius will create a add-on steering wheel for a uh, or a device like that that includes a proper Scania wheel or something. Uh, maybe I could do that with this one uh, if I have a, a spare one or a second one. Maybe I could just add a proper Scania wheel to this one and use that for as long as it works. Fanatec, possibly. Uh, I've never used direct drive, uh, but I'm curious about it. I've heard a lot of good things about direct steering. Not sure it works with trucking games, but there's only one way to find out. Uh, probably adapters, 3D printers. Yeah, I would like to buy a real Scania wheel and add it. For that, I think direct drive and probably Fanatec would work better than most others. Uh, mainly perhaps because of the quality. Maybe I need to Google around a little bit, see what others have done, what is possible. I mean, it would be absolutely awesome to have a proper big steering wheel. I'd, I'd really like to have that. No, Marion, I'm not ignoring you, at least not on purpose. Uh, uh, you don't need me to allow you to post anything on the mod showcase, uh, Marion, uh, since you are a mod creator, I think you already have that role, and then you should be able to post things there. Oh, slow down.
uh, Fanatec, if you're listening, you need to start sponsoring me and, of course, create a steering wheel for trucking games. Contact me. We can talk about it. I don't think Fanatec is listening. Russia is a big country. Jesus. We will spend another at least 10 to 15 hours here in Russia before we. Oh, slow down. Good day, officer. Officers. We're going to spend a lot of time here in Russia before we reach uh, another country in Europe. So T three hundreds, yes, gamer Bob, fifteen hours because this is at least a thirty-hour haul that we're doing. Uh, it's at least a thirty-hour haul. Uh, when we started earlier today doing part one, I estimated it to be forty hours. Turns out we we're able to do much more uh, of. Eastern Express per hour than I thought we would, so could be that it's only 30 hours in total. But uh, don't never expect to do more than perhaps 1,000 kilometers per hour, unless you go uh, too fast, of course. I'm not known for doing that though, so. Unless you do say 150 kilometers an hour. 30 hours, 1,000 kilometer per hour. Finding a steering wheel from a sill could actually be a very good idea. They are probably relatively light. Uh, there's not a lot of buttons on it that I want to try to add into. Oh try to use uh, so maybe a sill steering wheel could be nice uh, I think you can find a uh, Scania wheel on Amazon for 250 euros or so if you're a moron like I am it's well worth it hi Ivan uh, yeah, let's see what happens with the map combos. Slow down. Uh, stop. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Whew, lucky. Thank God. Ah, oh, perfect. Now we have the road to ourselves again. <laughs> crossing Russia in-game takes more time than crossing Poland IRL. <laughs> it actually says a lot because this is on a 1 to 19 scale or, well, maybe this part of Russia is 1 to 15, but still. It does say something. Thank you. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Tormac here isn't great. No, it's not great. I'm gonna have to go a little bit slower. There we go. Uh, Eagle, welcome, sir. Thank you for being here. Merry Christmas. Uh, Ivan, uh, using Jassy Cat's traffic packs, well, uh, using them on map combos at least will sometimes cause crashes, yes. Using them on only the base game and the DLCs is usually fine. But if you have crashes, uh, random crashes, first thing I would remove is probably Jassy Cat's traffic mods to see if that cures it. So, Philip, what you're saying is that it takes me twice as long to go across uh, Russia on the Eastern Express compared to Poland IRL. Twice as long. <laughs> that's just... <laughs> that's just wonderful. Oh, well, whatever steering wheel I buy in the future, it's it's not going to be as epic as the G25 slash G27 was. So um, I'm not going to be as careful with it as I was with this one. That's for sure. No tweaks. We are not on pro mods. We are on Eastern Express, a paid map mod for ETS2 that covers basically all of Eastern Europe. You'll find a link to it in the video description. Yeah, sure. I'm going to show you the map. Why not? We've been doing this for half an hour now. So we started down here in Vladivostok. We've gone all the way up here and we are now just east of Ulleti. That sounded Danish. Ulleti. Yeah, that's good. Ulleti. Uh, and once we reach this area here, there's Moscow. Uh, that's not going to happen today, obviously. Probably not tomorrow either. And then we're going to haul on further to Minsk and, and Brest. Uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see one of the two breasts because there is another breast down here somewhere. Uh, I can't remember where the other breast is. It's definitely not next to to this one. Um, oh well, it's it's down there in front somewhere. Uh, anyway, I'm going to Calais. Then we're gonna go down to eastern, sorry, southern EAA. Uh, and haul all the way through EAA up to Moron. Six hours and 14 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually, I think, at least Abhishek. Uh, the longest route you can create 
at the moment 30,287 kilometers in total um, I still expect that we will next year when we do this again we will be able to create something even longer than this to put it in comparison two years ago the longest haul we could create was not even 20,000 kilometers last year's haul was 26,000 kilometers this year we are beyond 30,000 so it's getting longer and longer hi Matthias I totally do 50k. The problem we are seeing now is that it's it's going to be more and more difficult doing it all in one week. Um, if we're able to do 1,000 kilometers per hour for the entire haul, that is 30 hours. That is like 10 parts to it, which I probably could do in in one week. Uh, I guess I could do even um, a little bit more than that if needed, but going beyond 40,000 kilometers is going to be difficult in, in less than a week. Uh, so, um, but I mean, hopefully we will be able to do 50, 60, 100,000 kilometers in the future if you like. The, the only boring thing about this is that I do rely heavily on EAA or China map uh, and Ross or Eastern Express. Without Ross or Eastern Express and China map or EAA, it's almost impossible to do this. So the hauling we have between those two maps is just Europe and there's no point in adding anything to that because it's not going to make the, the haul any longer anyway so I think the best thing would be to find a add-on map perhaps for Eastern Express which includes the North Korea or something um, perhaps being able to um, perhaps there in the future will be a map mod that includes North America for ETS2 uh, so that we can haul all the way through EAA and into the United States things like that uh, that's another idea I have of uh, creating a long haul across not only ETS2 and ATS but also uh, flight simulator train simulator uh, perhaps one of the truck simulators or the bus simulators as well to create a global uh, haul of sorts but then divided it into different parts of different games uh, Bartholomew, my controls uh, I don't really see a point in doing a video on that because it it's I could do it, of course, but that is very specific to my PC and the hardware I have. So I'm not really sure how that could help you in any way, unless you just happen to have a G25 as I have, or a G27. Well, it, it wouldn't really work with a G27 either, because that has four more buttons than my G25 has. So, uh, I also have a button box that I will not be using. Uh, very soon I'm going to replace that with a physical button box. So you would have to have the same button box, as I, bu button box as I have. And you will not have the same one because mine is going to be very personal. So I don't re really see why, uh, why you want to see me do something like that. But I, I could do it. Ah, the wheel settings. Uh, default settings uh, in the Logitech setup and um, then probably 95 different settings 
in game <laughs> per profile. Uh, I don't really change it uh, that much. It's it's only in game I change it, uh, and that is something I do per profile. Gen Dio, thank you very much for subscribing on YouTube. Uh, not a full man. I would love to have ETS2 and ATS combined into just one game. 210448, thank you very much for subscribing on YouTube as well. And James Bradbury as well. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Keep them subscription coming, guys. Keep them coming. I haven't done any. There's another one. Rainy's Salty. Thank you very much for subscribing. I haven't done any live streams or even videos in almost two weeks now. So um, I'm getting a bit low on new subscriptions. Miles Radovic. Thank you very much for subscribing. You guys are awesome. And I was kind of hoping to reach uh, Best Boy. Didn't you already subscribe? Apparently not, but thank you very much, much best boy. Uh, I was kind of hoping to reach 22,000 before the end of the year. Didn't really make it, unless you keep on going. Kevin, thank you very much for subscribing. <laughs> keep them coming and I might be able to reach 22,000 <laughs> before the end of the year. Uh, Thanos, the notification bot works properly. It's on and off. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's it's on and off. I think the visual notification always works. Uh, the times I don't recognize those who subscribe or or follow or whatever uh, is when I don't have the um, sound alerts. Uh, Ravenstar, I had a fantastic Christmas with my kids. Despite COVID-19, or perhaps because of COVID-19, I got to spend this Christmas with my kids only. And that is something I have never done before. It's always been together with my kids and other parts of my family as well. Uh, so this year I was actually able to just spend the time with with the kids um, which was fantastic I really really loved it no Thanos we're not gonna fire you anytime soon I'm still gonna have to rely on you <laughs> telling me when the notifications fail or the the sound notification fails it will fail it usually works great at the beginning of live streams, but then after an hour or so, it starts to get wonky. Are we approaching? Okay, okay, I can't see that lake in game because Eastern Express isn't on the 1 to 19 scale, so maybe you saw that earlier. It's It doesn't really care about where the ocean is and where where land masses are, it's just the road. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Ufa. <laughs> Thanos is the best bot ever. Uh, why the truck is bouncing uh it's actually in a lot of places here the tarmac is uh a bit weird uh slf thank you very much for following me on twitch Ooh. uh so it's it's the tarmac here uh that is well right now it's okay i guess Sweet Pro, uh, yes, I can use graphic mods, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't use graphic mods, uh, mainly because I use map combos or I haul on 
anything but pro mods and base map and the DLCs. Uh, most of the graphic mods available isn't made for a map like Eastern Express. I don't think any map uh, graphics mods are made for Eastern Express. Uh, there might be one or two that kind of works on EAA, but it's not created for EAA either. So it's going to look really strange in some places if you use graphic mods uh, on maps like this. Uh, which is also, by the way, why I'm not using the snow mods for this haul. Um, we're probably going to have quite a lot of problems if we do. Hi, free gaming. Uh, which mod? Uh, I wouldn't know. As I said, Sweet Pro, I'm not using graphics mods. <laughs> uh, what I am using is... NVIDIA Profile Inspector, uh, so I'm basically making changes to the um, to the uh, NVIDIA drivers instead, and um, that works regardless of which map mod you're hauling on. You're also the 69 bot, Thanos. <laughs> uh, if you're enjoying the stream, by the way, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done already, subscribe as well or follow me on Twitch. Like Oli Dork just did there. Thank you very much, Oli Dork. Uh, or perhaps even become a member on either YouTube or... or uh, why not... Um, subscribing on on twitch there's an endless amount of opportunities out there yeah 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 the lights i know uh jordan the blue ambient lights the interior light i have here it's just part of rjl's torpedo uh truck and since you're asking that on youtube uh, check out the video description. You'll find the uh, truck mod there. And that includes the blue lights I'm using. Thank you, Olaf, for filling in for, for Beng and Jay. <laughs> so, uh, Olaf just linked now to the uh, graphic settings that I'm using. And Uffe is also linking to the VTC, Vombatians United, if you want to join my VTC. If you do, you can also buy one of these cool coffee cups with the Vombatian United logo on it. Cheers, by the way. Whoa! Don't try to drink while inside the cab. There you go. Cheers. Uh, Philip, actually, the size of a map mod doesn't have that much to do with the size of the mod. It has to do with uh, additional prefabs, assets, and things like that that comes with the, the map. So I'm guessing the map part of this map is somewhere around 25 megabytes. Uh, the size, though, is probably more close to a gigabyte. Um... I can't actually remember, uh, but I think it's around a gigabyte, a gigabyte and a half, perhaps. But that has nothing really to do with the size of the map. It's more because of the, the traffic, the assets, prefabs, etc. Uh, it doesn't come with coffee in it, double Ds, but it is uh, compatible with coffee. It's compatible with water, Coca-Cola. I tested it with Fanta, uh, not with Pepsi though, I'm not sure it works with Pepsi. Um, and I haven't tried it with beer. 
but for water it's excellent. The most disgusting thing I've ever eaten? <laughs> um, the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten was probably... Um, some kind i don't know what it was called it was in japan it was um some it kind of looked like perhaps grilled meatballs on a stick um from a um from a tiny little uh hole in the wall you know these places where you can buy food out of a uh, not not even a not even a food truck i mean smaller than that uh a tiny little hole in hole in a wall where you can buy food so i bought something in, in japan and it was i was there with a friend we were making we were joking about we were making um bets about who of us was who was gonna throw it up first because it was absolutely disgusting uh, really really disgusting um, in the end we just gave up on trying to eat it we couldn't eat it uh, so none of us threw up but it was pretty close a couple of times if it's Jägermeister compatible I'm sorry Xperia I'm not a professional drinker uh i really don't know since i don't drink alcohol mango you're leaving us uh i will not crash mango and you take care buddy thank you for being here ah it's the official miko topio thank you very much for being here good afternoon evening fish semen i'll be sick that sounds that doesn't sound good, but I guess it's okay since Japanese fish, I've never eaten any thing from the sea in Japan that wasn't delicious. So maybe that's good as well. The strangest thing I've ever eaten? I don't know, snails, but that's actually delicious. Um, I will correct myself. I have eaten fermented herring once. And that is the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. So I'm going to take everything about Japan uh, back and say that the most disgusting food you can possibly eat is served right here in Sweden. Fermented herring. <laughs> Someone is going to disagree with me on that. <laughs> but this is my channel. I decide why I like what I like and what I don't like. <laughs> no, Joanne, it is not. Surströmming is fermented herring in Swedish. No, it's not. It's absolutely horrible. It's, I mean, just a smell kind of tells you, don't eat this fish. It is literally rotten. Literally rotten. Guinea pigs. I haven't tried that. I would like to try it. Uh, let's see, it's 10 o'clock in the evening. I think I'm going to stop here and get some sleep. Uh, let's see, what does the GPS says? Do I sleep on this side? 
Oh, it's over there. Uh, yes, I have tried raw herring. That's fine. I can eat that. I can't see anything. Where am I? There I am. Come on! Give me the sign. Come on! Come on! Seriously? Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, what gear am I in? I'm in C1, okay, come on. Whoops. Wrong button. Right, I'm just gonna have to do it manually then. There we go. <laughs> I still haven't eaten the weirdest thing that I will eat in my life. Uh, I have made a promise of eating uh, wombat. When we reach 1 million subscribers. And I will... Of course do that once we reach a million subscribers. <laughs> and it will be weird eating a wombat. Um, now I'm gonna be careful here. Make sure that there are no traffic, no trains coming in from... In the direction we're good. I don't want to crash into one of those again. The most awesome unknown food is Kachapuri. Never heard of it. It sounds uh, Indian. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't care if it's legal to eat a wombat. I made a promise that I would do it. So I'm gonna do it. So it's something you can get in Europe then, Richard. Never heard of it. Is it meat or is it... Uh... Andrew? <laughs> yeah. I, I did say it was going to be the weirdest thing. <laughs> to eat wombats. <laughs> Who knows? It might even be tasteful. Uh, it sounds good, Richard. I mean, bread filled with cheese. Can't go wrong there, can you? But I will need a million subscribers before I eat an actual wombat. And I probably won't be able to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Exterior, yeah, it's it's like you just chew into it. Let's do this. How difficult can it possibly be? Uh, 
Wait, what? Wombats are endangered? I had no idea. But I think... Is it awful to say that being an endangered animal will probably make it taste even more delicious? Anyway... Um, I guess I'm gonna have to eat roadkill. That can't be illegal. Uh, I'm, I'm kinda in shock right now. I had no idea they were endangered. Or even protected. But I'm glad they are. Uh, because they're very cute. Just like me. <laughs> oh, come on! It's uphill. And I'm gonna have to... Can't you 7th? 5th then. Come on! This is gonna take forever getting up here. I do expect in on the EAA that we will see a lot of this hauling in, say, 20, 30 kilometers an hour. I'm not using the tilt function. Sure, I could do that, but uh, I have disabled it. I basically have left, right, and that's it. Uh, only to make it uh, easier to to look at. Uh, it doesn't matter how much I want to Google it, Richard. Uh, the fact that we have another two hours of streaming to do is... It's probably why I won't be able to remember that it's called Megruli Chachapuri. Hi Andos! Welcome! It's been a while, it has. Uh, but you're joining us at the right moment because we are doing the yearly World's Longest Haul. This year from Eastern Express onto EAA for a total of 30,000 kilometers. Hi Sci-Fi Gaming! <laughs> you do that Richard and I will Google it. <laughs> Let's see now, we've been doing this for an hour now, so I think it's time to have a look at the map again for those of you who haven't seen it. Uh, my truck has 7,000 kilometers on it, but that is only because I did uh, three, 4,000 kilometers uh, with this truck for testing before I decided to go with this combo. So uh, we haven't done 8,000 kilometers today. Yeah. Um, of course, testing it will not show whether it's going to work 100% of the time or not, but it's not likely that it will crash more than perhaps once. Uh, I do expect, to be honest, that we will see a game crash during this. Not today's necessarily, but during this haul. I mean, I think we had a game crash even on EAA 6.0 when that was released. I was then only using EAA, by the way, and we still had a game crash. 
So um, I expect that something like that could happen here as well. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that. Not talk about it. Uh, the lake you're talking about is probably one of that one, perhaps, or one of these, maybe. Uh, because this is the ocean. Uh, let's see, there we are. So I was talking about us making it to tiny. Looks like we will be able to reach tiny in an hour and a half, perhaps. Which could mean that we could make it all the way to Bogotol, perhaps, uh, today. Uh, no, I have not seen Bus Sim 21 uh, yet. Uh, maybe I should download it and try it out. And that's the longest you've done was from Iceland to Belarus. Why didn't you join us for the uh, epic convoy we did from Iceland to, to the Middle East? Should have been there. That was 8,000 kilometers. Uh, Costina, thank you very much. Uh, what's up? Uh, not much. Uh, other than <laughs> this, of course. Uh, All the dark. Mario map. No, I've never used, which is kind of a lie because I have once just to see what it was. Uh, I don't use Mario map. I will never use Mario map. Mario map contains uh, basically something similar to my map combo, but that person decided to steal everything and join the maps together into, well, Mario map. Uh, in other words, it's a stolen, these days, very old piece of crap. Uh, it doesn't necessarily crash, but my god, does it look old and boring. And I highly recommend you stay far, far away from it. Nitro the Dingo, good morning to you, sir. Uh, the convoy and us, I think that was in August, August or September. Um, then, since then, we've done one more convoy, but that was on ATS. O'Higgins to Bogota is not a bad haul either. O'Higgins to Bogota, Bogota 15,000 kilometers, is it? Yeah, I don't know why someone decided to uh, revive Mario Map. Uh, but if you look at the uh, ProMods forum, for instance, you'll see that you're completely banned from getting any support or help, or even you're not even allowed to talk about Mario Map there. I think it's the same on the SCS forum. Uh, the map is av available on the Rowex forum, but <laughs> but you're not allowed to talk about it. So the uh, the uh, the post on on Rowex forum is is locked. Um, so, but, yeah, it is out there, and I wish it could just go away. That's a pretty decent taller, Richard, 13 to 15,000 kilometers. Um, more or less all of those 13 to 15,000 kilometers will be part of this haul, actually. It's gone. I'm glad to hear that, Olaf. I'm, I'm honestly glad to hear that. Uh, I do not understand why it was there in the first place. And to be honest, I think you also know who posted it. I was a bit surprised and to be honest, a little bit disappointed that the person who did post it there posted it. Uh, so, but I'm glad it's gone now. I 
I'm very sorry to hear that, Storm Gaming official Twitch. Uh. <laughs> oh, bad road, bad road, bad road. Slow down. Jesus Christ. Oof. Yeah, let's trick Wombat to think that the the, uh, the chat doesn't exist, Thanos. <laughs> Hi, strongest La Paz. And Mats MH. Mats MH? Welcome to both of you. Uh, Lucas, I will get 1 million 100 thousand euros for this haul. So, ouch. So I kind of wish it was IRL. Ouch. And if it was, I would probably do just this haul and then retire. Uh, do I haul from Ross to EAA? Yes, Gamer Bob, of course you should. And you should also use my um, No Ferry mod for EAA. If you use that, you'll only have one ferry, and that is from the most southern uh, ferry place on EAA to, uh, to Europe. So if you use that, your haul will probably be 28, 29,000 kilometers. Well, maybe it's not a good average money, Richard, but it's still 1.1 million euros. I'm, I'm good with that. I mean, IRL, this would then probably be a month, a month and a half's work. And I would be perfectly fine being paid 1.1 million euros or even for two months work <laughs> so I'm, I'm good with 1.1 million <laughs> really Thanos maybe you could post some images to it on, on the discord <laughs> cheers guys Speeding a little. Uh, with 1.1 million, I would stop uh, being a, a IRL trucker and only do ETS2 and ATS full time. Uh, straight pipes, sure. I would probably be able to afford that as well. Well, unfortunately, the wages we have on in game isn't really close to what it's like IRL, I think. Unfortunately. Uh, Philip, I just wish I was a real-life trucker. That was a joke, me saying that I would stop doing it. I'm not a real-life trucker, unfortunately. I'm, um, I work in IT. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, you like my skin, by the way. Oh, green lights, green lights. How many kilometers color rack on, on this hole? The total, as the title says, 30,000 kilometers. Uh, today we've done, I think we've already done 4,000 kilometers, to be honest. Today, we're going to do 6,000 kilometers today. If we're able to keep the speed up as, uh, keeping the same pace as we had for the first parts of this haul. Uh, no, Thanos, my friends would not judge me for playing games. Um... I mean, I have my setup in my living room. People have seen it. I have no problem with people seeing it. Um, I'm totally fine with it. If they had any problems with it or any opinions, negative opinions on it, they wouldn't really be my friends, would they? The skin is actually made uh, with parts of my beard. Uh, Lucas, that is a very good question. Southern region. I'm not sure if Southern region will be banded much more than it already is. It might change over time, but it feels like it's more or less now for a very long time have been just compatibility updates that has been released. So on the other hand, we have Siberia map coming, which adds more of Russia. You can't go in much further south on the uh, southern region than we already have. So if you want to stay in Russia, that is. Um, so there will be more expansions to Russia, but maybe not by southern region. If I can show you the truck. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me just get around this corner and I will show you the truck. There it is. It's a bumpy road. The whole cabin is... It's moving. Oh, smoother tarmac now. So there it is. Of course, a huge cab because we're doing this for quite a long time. So I need a huge cab. Moron is located in Venezuela, in South America. It is a real town. Uh, no, Argentina is in the south. We're hauling from Argentina to the northern parts of uh, South America, so Venezuela. Hi, Jano. Let's see, we have an exit coming up. It's got to be that one there. Thank you, Sci Fi Gaming. Uh, you're gonna stop? No, you're not gonna stop. Of course, you're just gonna slow down a little bit, perhaps. Uh, I will show you the map again, Colorec. Uh, just give us a few minutes. <laughs> I guess it's realistic driving, especially considering this is Russia. <laughs> uh, 
One thing I'm not sure about regarding Eastern Express is you might see it again now. The cabin is moving again now. There's a lot of these slightly bumpy roads all over the place making the cabin move like this. 30 kilometers an hour? Seriously? And again, so this is going to be a good time to show the the map, I guess. We're going to have to stop here. So, um, you happy, sir? No, I'm not going to mess with him. Uh, let's see, here's the map. So, we started in Vladivostok. We've driven all the way up here so far. And well, wow, we've done four and a half thousand kilometers so far, which is excellent. And um, yeah, well, we're just going to continue on and on and on to Moscow, down to almost to Lublin. <laughs> See what I did there. Recon, thank you very much for the 500 bits. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So uh, over to Calais and then down to Southern EAA San Gregorio. And then we're going to haul all the way up. As you can see, I've removed all the ferry mods, sorry, the ferry connections into EAA, except for this one. And we're going to haul all the way up to Moron located two or three hundred kilometers from Caracas. Caracas. So there you have it. That is the haul. Uh, have a hard time seeing Lublin crashing here because we're not using either Pro Mods or um, Rowex or uh, Poln Rebuilding. So I'm pretty sure that uh, Lublin is going to be just fine. I did that on purpose, Olaf. I decided I'm going to stay away from using that name of that city uh, named after female body parts. Uh, no, there is. Yes, there is a way to stop the game from auto saving. Perhaps more importantly, Octavian, there is a way to stop the game from showing you that you are auto saving. Uh, but I can't remember which setting it is. It's probably G set auto save or something. And G set auto save display, maybe. In any way, there you can set it to whatever you like. That's very true, Uffe, but somehow people don't come to think of male body parts when you use it. It's usually female body parts people think about for some odd reason. And it looks like we're coming up on some parts that will explain why this is not going to be a 30 hour live stream. It's going to be a little bit more than that. Uh, moron is absolutely going to be a completely overused word on my on this hall, but that is not my fault. That is the Venezuelans' fault. They decided to name their city Moron, so there's nothing we can do about that. Exterior. I'm pretty sure we're going to avoid. 
Great Britain. Um, during this haul, it's not on the route, and I'm not gonna take a shortcut via Scotland. Hi, Recon Lobster. Uh, how many hours we've we've done? Four and a half in total so far uh, today. Uh, but um, and we probably have another thirty hours to go before we reach our destination. So, but we'll we'll get there next year, sometime early next year. I'm not streaming 30 hours straight, no, god no. On the contrary, I'm doing uh, a number of 3 hour live streams. <gasps> Slow down! Ooh. Uh, so this is the second 3 hour live stream I'm doing. Hi Gabriel! Yeah, and besides, I have to work tomorrow, uh, Recon, so um, there's that. If I was going to do this as one single very, very long haul, it would probably take me 40 hours at least. I would have to stop from time to time, maybe go to the bathroom, maybe eat something even. Uh... Looks, let's not ask that question too often. We have another 25,454 or oh, 3, 2 kilometers to go before we reach our destination. So, no, we're not there yet. <coughs> I know that I'm able to do 40, 40 hours at least. Uh, six years ago, I think it was. I long story, but I ended up spending seventy-two hours awake. And after being awake for seventy-two hours, your your body gets kind of funny. Um, so I don't recommend it. But I. Of course, that was five years ago. I'm five years older now, five, six years older. And maybe I can't do 72 hours anymore, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I should, be able, I should be able to do at least 48 hours. Uh, so, but it's not something I want to do, so um, I'm not going to do that. It's it's fine, Luke's. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just joking. Um, I had that question already after. I think we had done one hour of the entire haul when I had the question the first time. <laughs> How far is it left? Epic Gamer, you got a Logitech G920 for Christmas? Someone loves you a lot. And you've also been a very, very good boy this year. Getting a Logitech G920, that's, that's a proper gift. Uh, and also, I'm not going to do a 48-hour live stream next week. Or ever. The last time I did a long live stream, I think that was 16 hours. Uh, and the worst thing is that those who are watching it live can see all 48 hours. But those who go back and watch it afterwards can only see the last 12 hours. So it's not really worth doing more than 12 hours. Unless you live in Russia, getting Russian Eastern Express 
as a gift is a very valuable gift considering how difficult it is to to get this map Mein Lieben mit einem Bolonka Svetna <laughs> welcome <laughs> Uh, where I am, uh, you tell me. I'm in um, I'm in uh, Kamensk in Russia, in the very very eastern parts of Russia. We are on our way to Moscow, and from Moscow we're going to um, Calais, and from Calais we're going to. Uh, South America. That's only in game, not a full man. The GPS wouldn't work IRL, I think, in Siberia. At least not Google Maps. Petr, did, did you just join us? I just said we are. I'm gonna do it again. In Bamensk, Mamemsk, whatever. Coming up on Babu Babushkin. <laughs> Babushkin. In Eastern Russia. Yeah, you're gonna love playing using a proper wheel, Epic Gamer. Um, you're just gonna love it. The game it will never be the same again. Bushka. <laughs> it's not a bad question, Peter. It's just bad timing because someone asked it literally two minutes before you did. <laughs> uh, you should update to 900 degrees and then get Toby Tracker 5 instead of Track IR. I need to refuel, but I'm not going to do the hair. I'm going to wait a little bit. That's not speed cameras, was it? Uh, that's toll road cameras. Uh, Jano, there was a problem in Minsk. Uh, that is Rosmap territory, Jano. And. Um, hmm, I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, I always like going to Kazakhstan. It's very nice. It always is. Uh, you know, there used to be another map by the same map creator as, as the guy who created the Great Step map, and it is a standalone map. He's not working on it anymore. As far as I know, um, 
I think it was actually called Map of Kazakhstan. Completely different and also, though, a 1 to 19 scale map. He's never going to merge them, I already asked him about it. But it was very, very nice. <laughs> Wait, did I nail Borat by accident? There you go, toll road. That's the camera. Uh, regarding map mods, um, are we going to talk about map mods again? Um, sorry, map combos again. I have not decided what to do with map combos. Um, as some of you might know, I have been... No, we're not going to talk about map combos today. I will wait a few more days before I talk about map combos. Uh, let's just say that I am working on one, but I'm not sure I will release it. Let's just call it that for now. And sorry for being cryptic, but I have to. Uh, because I'm waiting for... Um, um, for copyright reasons, I am in contact with a, a lawyer who specializes in copyrights to see what I can do about my map combos for ETS2. Currently, uh, currently I will not release any, but um, we're looking into it. I'll have more information for you. Tomorrow is a work day, so tomorrow or possibly on Tuesday, I will have more information about it. The longest haul you can do on ATS, Richard, would uh, involve using um, uh, Canna Dream, Coast to Coast, and all of the um, Mexican map mods. And if you do that, you can create a probably eight or nine thousand kilometer long haul. Yes, Sanders, sorry for being, um, sorry for not being able to say more about it, uh, yet my map combos. I am cryptic about it because I don't want to worry anyone or start a false rumor. I want facts first and then I'll get back to you on what is going to happen with my map combos. Uh, Kid of the Ork is from Norge, but he lived in Stockholm for many, many years. So, as I said to Kid of the Ork, no, not Kid of the Ork, Kid of Ark, I am from Norway too. But I live in Sweden, Stockholm. <laughs> yes, kid of orc. I'm Norwegian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I told him I was originally from Norway, but I live in Stockholm. Uh, yeah, it would be nice. Not if, I'm going to say when ATS expands down to Panama. Maybe there's a ship simulator we could then use to go from uh, from Venezuela to Panama and then continue on ATS for a whole between ETS2 and ATS. Uh, John Widows, as long as you're using original links, you have nothing to fear. Uh, the reason you sometimes see um, Google messes up with that a lot. Uh, share mods, that's a false positive. Uh, but again, I can only say that you have nothing to fear as long as you use the original links. Thank you, Kid of the Orc. Well, I, I 
keep on calling you Kid of the Ark. You're not Kid of the Ark, you're Kid of Ark. Uh, but thank you, Kid of Ark. Uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, and I, I am kind of Swedish. I've lived in Sweden for 30 years. So I don't f really... I lived in Norway for 18 years, and then I've spent the last 32 years here in Sweden. So I kind of feel more Swedish than Norwegian, really. Share mods isn't shady at all. Okay, you have some uh, banners and things there, but downloading the actual files from Share mods, there's not shady about that at all, in my opinion. Well, let's see if it uh, logs a job of 30,000 kil kilometers because I am using Truckbook to record this haul, so hopefully it will work. Uh, I'm not even using ad blockers. Uh, honest to God. Just press the correct links. <laughs> uh, but I have had from time to time people who are really mad at me because I have linked them to a virus and thanks to me they have a virus on their PC. They probably do have a virus on their PC but it's not because of my links. It's because they haven't clicked the correct download buttons. <laughs> a lot of people pretend they come from other places in the world uh, and you appreciate me for being honest that I am from Sweden aka or Norway whatever uh, why would people lie about where they're from I mean I'm from Norway and I'm proud of it I'm, I live in Sweden and I'm proud of it I have lived in Denmark for a couple of years as well and I'm proud of that too uh, I'll try that once, see what happens. Well, I was born in Japan, guys. I'm from Japan. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Next time someone asks, I'm going to say Japan. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Olaf. I never let my kids watch me download anything from share mods. <laughs> I appreciate it, kid, kid of Ark. I uh, just want to remind you that we should keep this chat in a break in uh, English so that everyone can follow what is happening. Not everyone here speaks Norwegian slash Danish slash Swedish. <laughs> well, one great thing about not using any ad blockers on share mods is that you get a lot of notifications about people who want to interact with you, <laughs> and they are usually only a few kilometers away, uh, which is strange, but still. <laughs> That's fine. It's all fine, Kid of Rock. Kid of Ark. It's all fine. <laughs> uh, uh, I never use ad blockers and I never get redirected to various websites. No. And you will neither unless you actually click on any of those adverts. Uh, there are pop-up windows. Uh, you're supposed to block those pop-ups. But you don't have to have an ad blocker for that. Hi, Daniel. And welcome to Eastern Express. And uh, Baikalsk. 
is the next city coming up. <laughs> what do you mean, sorry guys for being Norwegian? You should never apologize for being from Norway. Uh, Sandals, I'm very excited about the Iberia DLC. It's still going to take a few weeks before we we get it, uh, before it gets released. Before it gets released, of course, we're going to have to uh, enjoy the 1.40 beta for, well, for at least two or three weeks. Not a full man, that is true as well, but uh, when it does, I just shut down that window. And also I'm not admin on my PC when I use Chrome, so nothing can be installed. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. Uh, what home tone are we talking about, Olaf? Did I miss something here? Ah, the city I was born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the city I was born in is actually called Christian. San. Um, so please remake Christian San in uh, in Japan for me. <laughs> oh! If there's one country in the world I would like to just spend a year in, it would be Japan. It would be Be Beijing. What am I talking about? Tokyo. I'd love to spend a year in Tokyo. Uh, I gotta say, it's the nicest people in the world. Um. It's now been 12 years since I went to Japan and I will never forget it. That's the one all up. If you ever have the opportunity to go there, go there. Uh, all of you, you need to go to Japan. You're just gonna love it. It's absolutely fantastic. The culture, the people, uh, the cities, the cars, the trucks, uh, the sights, everything. Kid of Ork, thank you for being here. Take care, buddy. And it looks like that is where we're gonna stop for the night and get some sleep. Uh, before we stop and get that sleep, I want to see how many hours we still have left for this haul because I don't want to be late. I really don't want to be late. I really want to make it... ...on time. So, let's see. Um... 945 hours remains. Can't really see how long it's going to take. Uh, but I think we're fine. We're good. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, I do not want to cancel it. I just want to sleep. That was close.
I was really close. <laughs> well, this part of the map is rather old. There are newer parts to this map. But yes, we are getting into the uh, to the older parts of it. Uh, we have uh, well, the game says it's going to take us another 935, 362 hours. I don't think we're going to make it on time. And um, we have 25,000 kilometers to go. And we have another hour to spend here tonight, so I guess, shockingly enough, we will be down to... We will have completed 6,000 kilometers today, which, honest to God, is like... 1,500 kilometers more than I expected. Hi Richard, yes, not only did I survive Christmas, I had a fantastic Christmas with my kids, thank you. And I hope you had a wonderful Christmas as well. Nah, 25,000 kilometers, that's less than we did last year, so... It's all good. Ooh, break! Crap. Who wants an Asian truck sim? Not a fool man. Uh, why? Why do you want an Asian truck sim? What is wrong with getting a world truck sim instead? That is compatible with both ETS2 and ATS. That is the ETS2 and ATS maps, of course. Humanic, I do not speak Hungarian at all. What made you think that? Hi, Pavel. Uh, two games doesn't necessarily mean more profit. Uh, there's a lot of people who don't have ATS, and there's a lot of people who don't have ETS2 <laughs> because they have the other game but cost wise it means that um, CS will have to have double teams working on those two games and uh, they will have double teams working on maps uh, doing the same things really that they could do just for one game which would then have a, relatively speaking, ton of map mods and, of course, DLCs available for it. They would still make basically the same amount of money that they are now. The only difference would be that they wouldn't be selling, say, ATS, which you can buy for five euros. Um, they would still get to sell all the DLCs. Uh, which map mod I like the most, Lucas? Uh, Grand Utopia uh, for standalone maps and probably pro mods for add-on maps. Um, both are excellent 
map mods. So um, I'm going to go with those two. Uh, which bus sim are we talking about, Richard? Uh, there are no bus sims by SCS that I'm aware of. Uh, Mr. Swede, yes, I do have a load order for, for this combo. Uh, but it's only two maps. Uh, Eastern Express and um, EAA. And to be honest, I can't remember which one I put on top of the other one. I think I have Eastern Express at the bottom and then EAA on top of that. But I mean, since it's only two of them, put them in what order you like and see if it works. If it doesn't, switch it around. Eastern Express is a very paid mod, absolutely, Daniel. And it's pretty difficult to get it, uh, to buy it, that is, because you need to pay by Yandex. And it's not enough to just have a Yandex account or U money now. It's, I think they didn't change the name to U. Uh, you need to have a certified U money account or Yandex account. Uh, and that is kind of difficult uh, to get. You basically have to go to, I guess you could go to Kazakhstan, but otherwise to Russia to do that. just wish that Yandex or whatever they're called could open up a office area in Stockholm. That would be nice. Uh, Russian maps are, or paid Russian maps are notoriously difficult to get because uh, you can't use PayPal in uh, Russia uh, because of sanctions against Russia. Uh, so you can't use PayPal. Uh, you have to use something that works in Russia. So for that, you then have Yandex instead. And, um, well, the Russians are doing to us what uh, we are doing to them, so to speak. So uh, you can't use uh, Yandex or get a verified account unless you send them your passport and a lot of other information. Um, or show up in one of their offices. I think that there are ways around it, uh, not the, not the uh, Yandex parts. There are two, that I'm aware of no ways around it. But I do know that there are some Russian map create, sorry, mod creators that do accept. Uh, PayPal. I'm not sure how they are able to then get the money transferred to their country, but evidently you can buy some mods from Russians using PayPal, so I guess it's possible. Uh, Richard Friedin, thank you very, very much for the 50 Swedish krona there. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. I win, Frank. Yes, thank you very much. I'm doing very well. Uh, what do we have here? What is this? Is it a red light or something? No, it's not. Ah! Hi, Mayong. Welcome back. Uh, yes, you could absolutely enslave your family. <laughs> Actually, Thanos, uh, it would be very easy for you to then get some help from your family 
to uh, to buy map mods or Russian mods. Well, using a VPN for PayPal is fine, but it doesn't help if you want to then transfer the money to Russia. You can have as many VPNs you like, you won't be able to move the money from PayPal to Russia. So there's, there's, there's got to be another way, Olaf. Uh, it could be, Peter, that these guys who accept PayPal use a cryptocurrency to transfer the money to Russia. Uh, it's quite possible. But um, Valera T, for instance, who made this map, he doesn't accept cryptocurrencies. Reese, I've actually done a video on where to put additional mods. Uh, so maybe you want to check that out. Uh, Jackport, welcome to Russia. And to the world's longest hall, where we are completing the first 6,000 kilometers today. Uh, my PC specs, uh, Jackport, best thing you could do is go to my Discord server. There I have a channel called Wombat's Hardware. And there you'll find not only the specs, but also images of of my rather old PC now. It's been a, almost a year since I built it. Uh, so it's a mediocre Intel series uh, 9, 9900K CPU, uh, 32 gigs of ROM, and old RTX 2080 Ti graphics cards, a couple of M2 hard drives, or storages. Um, so, yeah. Right, another checkup. Well, Jackport, <clears throat> I bought my RTX. Hang on. It said that my truck weighs 83 tons this time, which is one ton less than it said. The last time we weighed the thing. That's weird. Uh, so, Jackport, what I was saying was that I bought my 2080 Ti uh, six, seven months ago. Or I guess fuel might have weight then, or we just lost some parts of the of the uh, cargo. I don't know. Um, I bought my 2080 Ti uh, six months before they announced the 3080, 3090, 3070 cards. And the thing is that I paid 1500 euros, as you would for a 2080 Ti. And now you can buy a 27, uh, sorry, 3070 card for around 700 euros. And it is as powerful as my 2080 Ti. So I'm not bitter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's not as badass as it used to be the 2080 Ti. And here we go again. <laughs> We're not there yet. We still have 24,857 kilometers to go. No, shut up, kids. <laughs> uh, 
You also have a broken caps lock, uh, Jack Ports. <laughs> See if you can fix that. <laughs> Almost there. Yeah, right. Don't get me wrong, I'm very happy with my 2080 Ti. But of course, I can't help myself but look at the 3090 card and wonder how 24 gigabytes of RAM on the graphics card would, would feel like. Ten eighty Ti is good and it's almost as fast as the twenty eighty Ti is. I mean there's not a lot of differences between the ten eighty and the twenty eighty, but the difference between a twenty eighty and a thirty T eighty is huge. It's huge. Well, I mainly play ETS two LDM, but I also wanna play uh, and I do play uh, flight sim for instance uh, and there are occasionally places in ETS2 and ATS where I as everyone else see frame drops and I just want to eliminate them entirely I want to be able to play on in 4k um, not that I do that ever anymore because of live streaming using restream um, but I just I want to be able to play on this game and always, no matter what I add regarding mods, be able to watch it in at least 60 FPS. And I don't need it, by the way. I want it. There are other things that I need. And I do expect that uh, we will all see fewer FPS uh, once 140 is out. Um, I will also say that my old 1060 card was, was a great card for, for this game. And uh, my daughter when we built her new PC uh, she actually uh, took over the old 1060 card I had and she's still happy with it uh, all of them I don't expect there is going to be a lot of problems with map mods once 140 is released but i still think they will all have to update because they will look very outdated compared to anything that hasn't been updated for the oops new lightings in uh, in 140. um so I, th I think the maps would still work. Uh, yes, Paddy, you can stop the game from updating. You can use the, um, you can, for instance, use the um, um, compatibility version that is available. Uh, but why would you want to do that? Perhaps I'm not as nostalgic as others are, but I mean, once there's a new version of the game, I just move to that new version and I never look back. Um, whatever map mods works, works. Whatever map mods doesn't work, I'm just not going to use them until the game has been, or until that map mod has been updated. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I do understand it, Patty, but s still, there's a reason why there's a new version out. There's a lot of new features, like the new lighting thing, for instance. I want to be able to enjoy that, and above everything else, I want, want 140 because I want Iberia. And there's nothing that's going to stop me from using Iberia when that comes out. Uh, my young no. Uh, map mods that works on 139 will, in most cases, only work on 139. There are some exceptions, but it's not that any map mods are ever made to be backwards compatible. So if you have a map mod made for 139, it's most likely not going to work on 136. If it's made for 139, it might work on 1.40, but not the other way around. <laughs> Sanals, that's that's how I feel about it. I mean, I, I still, from time to time, talk about how I miss the old truck mods we used to have, the, the Russian truck mods that worked so beautifully on 135 that stopped working with when fmod came out for 137 uh, there used to be an lb76 many many years ago that worked for 1.26 or something uh, and of course i miss it but mm, i'm not going to go back to that version because i want to play on that truck Polar Rebuilding definitely do not work on anything but the latest version of the map. So Polar Rebuilding for 139 will not work on on, uh, on 138, 137, 136. Uh, because it's an add-on map to Pro Mods. And the current version of Pro Mods will only work on 139. Why would Iberia delay the upcoming DLCs, Thanos? I mean, first of all, Iberia is a map DLC. And the delay is not caused by Iberia itself, it's caused by the new uh, lighting system. Uh, there is a version of, of a lot of these map mods for 136. But if you are talking about using the version made for 139, you can't use that on 136. You have to, to use an older version of the map mod. Well, if... But they are not creating the new lighting for Iberia specifically. They are developing the new lighting system for the entire game. And that have delayed Iberia a bit. But Iberia itself isn't delaying anything. So, but yeah, the lighting system will delay the uh, delay Iberia. But I think that the map itself is completed. Uh, whatever it, whatever the work is that have to be done, uh, so that it works with new lighting, that might not affect uh, other future. DLCs. Wait, what? We just completed 3,536 kilometers? Huh? Uh, we have completed 5,300 kilometers, not 3,500 kilometers. <laughs> Ouch. Hi Lanky. It's it's a beautiful day, isn't it? <laughs> and Merry Christmas. Uh, 
uh, that might be my young depends on your situation if, if you're using a map combo I highly recommend you stay away from any graphics mods you're not gonna stop are you no of course you're not uh, but for the base map and the DLCs all graphics mods are good I guess it's just that I, I really spend my time on just the base map and the DLCs Only time I guess I do that is when we have new World of Truck events. And I do hope that you have all completed the 15 halls we need to do for the uh, Christmas events. Uh, Lanky, I'm only using two map mods for this long haul. Uh, the one we're hauling on now is Eastern Express. And the other one is uh, EAA. And the reason I'm normally using those two is because Eastern Express goes all the way from Vladivostok uh, to, um, to Lublin or Poland. Uh, and of course EAA, well, it takes up the entire eastern part of, of the space to the west of uh, of um, of Europe, so there isn't really need for any additional mods. It wouldn't make the long the uh, the hall any longer. So I'm just using those two. Ah, you finally finished! So awesome! You finished both the Colorado events and the uh, Christmas events. <coughs> Um, I kind of like the Christmas paint job we, we got for the event. Uh, 357 hours? Yes. Uh, I guess it is 357 hours. This is, after all, the world's longest haul. We're doing 30,000 30, kilometers. So, um, 357 hours is to be expected. have a look at the map again let's see we are here we have another 40 minutes to go before we are ending today so it might be that tiny the big city of tiny is where we will end up in 40 minutes anyway we started five hours and 20 minutes ago in Vladivostok and we've hauled all the way up here so far we still have a long way to go before we reach Moscow. Not that far until we then reach Calais. Uh, this could quite possibly be done in three hours, maybe. And then, of course, EAA from San Gregorio all the way up to the beautiful city of Moron. <laughs> uh, yes, Johan. This is really gonna take 30 hours IRL, but I will not do it as one live stream, of course. Uh, I have split it up in um, somewhere between 10 and 14 three hour sessions. Uh, today we're doing two sessions, part one and part two. Uh, tomorrow, turns out I have to work, so we're only gonna do three hours tomorrow. Same thing on third, uh, Tuesday and on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, which is New Year's Eve, I will do two sessions. The first of January, another two sessions. The second of January, also two sessions. Uh, and by then we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sessions by then. So, and on the third, then on the third of January, one or two. Same thing again on the 4th and on the 5th if needed. <laughs> uh, 
Had this been a 12-hour thingy, I might have done it as one single live stream. Uh, but, I mean, I, I can't do even 12 hours today. I have to work tomorrow. Obviously, that is like a regular day, so I, I never do more than three hours anyway on weekdays. No, Olaf. And uh, if you don't shut up, we're going to throw you out of the truck. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's more like the donkey from, uh, the donkey from, uh, Shrek. When they're going to Neverland. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's more like that. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bottle in there somewhere. Use that. <laughs> Oh, you copyrighted Olaf. <laughs> I like the fact that the city in Frozen is Arendal. Uh, my second hometown in Norway was the city of Arendal. Of course, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like the city of Arendal in uh, Frozen, but still. Uh, what do you mean, my young ownership trailer? Maybe, but only in the north region. I'm not following you there. Marion, you need to stop smoking, dude. It's not good for you. I smoked for four, more than 40 years. Stupidest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, yeah, if you're talking about the extra long trailers there, my young uh, Finland only should change to uh, Scandinavia soon because they are at least on trail here in Sweden. The HCT trailers. No, it's a great trailer, and there are mods that allows you to use them all over. Uh, if I'm if I ever use double trailers, it's it's almost always the HCT trailers, unless we're on EAA, <laughs> because they really don't fit there. Uh, Psycho Soku, uh, yes, I do have the HRS uh, next gen torpedo as well, and I was kind of, I couldn't really make up my mind, but I decided to use the RJL because uh, it's it's been quite a while since I used it, uh, and I did try out a a small range of trucks mods that I wanted to use on this map. Uh, and I did have a other paid mod that I wanted to use, an MTG mod that I wanted to use here. Uh, but it didn't play nice with this map. So uh, I decided to go for the RJL truck because that had, haven't caused me any problems on this map. Uh, for some reason, this, the Eastern Express map, has given me some FPS problems with some truck mods uh, and we're not talking about minor problems like a drop of one or two frames we're talking 10 to 20 drops uh, 10 to 20 frames uh, so I, I had with I can't remember which one it was it might have been with the MTG truck actually 
Uh, I was down to 40 FPS and then I pressed 2 to go to the external camera and I had 60 FPS and then back into the truck I was back to 40 again. Uh, so, and you don't want to watch me hold here for IRL 15 hours on this map doing 40 FPS. So, um, I, I finally decided I was going to use this one because this one do not affect the uh, FPS at all. In theory, Gabriel, uh, since the map is more or less on a 1 to 19 scale, this one is even larger than that. This one is probably around 1 to 15 in most places. Uh, but let's 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 call it uh, 1 to 20. So uh, it's 30,000 times 20, so 600,000 kilometers IRL. Uh, which doesn't make sense because it's not going to take you 600,000 kilometers to get to to Moron. <laughs> Hi, Sergey! And uh, Edim! And Starpair and everyone else who just joined, thank you very much for being here, guys. Really appreciate it. And if you're enjoying the live stream, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe as well or on Twitch, perhaps you could consider following me or, or perhaps, uh, I don't know, subscribe. In any case, I'm very happy to see you all here. I know that we've had the low boys in traffic for some time now, but it still amazes me when I see them in game. <laughs> I didn't say 6,000 kilometers, Gabriel, I said 600,000. But it's still only uh, 30,000 kilometers in game. Uh, sorry, IRL. Because although the game is 1 to 19 scale, uh, it's, um, it's still from Vladivostok to Moron. Uh, and um, that is more or less 30,000 kilometers, I think. Maybe we could look, look it up in Google Maps. How far is it to go by car from Vladivostok to uh, to um, Calais and then from San Giorgio, was it, to Moron? I'm guessing the total will still say 30,000 kilometers. Hi, Evoken. And welcome to... Um, Eastern Express and Kuitun, which almost sounds Japanese. Kuitun. Well, we're not going to the equator, are we? I mean, we're passing through, of course, but... Uh, close enough. Vladivostok to Calais is 11,760 kilometers. Thank you, Eagle. So I'm guessing... Let's have a look at the map. Going from... Uh, going from uh, San Gregorio to Moron. Possibly, yeah, whatever that is. 
Um, also, perhaps depending on how you count it, I mean, Vladivostok here in a straight line to Calais, maybe that is 11,760 kilometers. <laughs> Anyway, it's long. It's long. It's long enough, even. I'll just show you on the map where I am. I'm in uh, Kuytun. Kuytun is where we are. We're gonna try to reach... Um, we're gonna try to reach um, the city of Tiny uh, before we end tonight, which will be in around 30 minutes. Ah, so that's only 8,535. Okay, so I guess IRL you have alternative roads you can use. And that's why it's... Uh, because I think that in-game from Vladivostok to Calais, it is... Could it be 15, 16,000 kilometers? Uh, excellent point there. Um, this is where we are. Here's Vladivostok. This is where we are. This is where I hope we're gonna end up tonight. And the Grand San Gregorio we're talking about here is close to Rio Grande, Primavera. There's San Gregorio. The ferry goes to uh, San Gregorio, Olaf. I'm using my uh, no ferry mod, so the only ferry we do have here is the one from Calais to San Gregorio. No, it is 30,287 kilometers. That could have ended badly. Yes, I do play with a steering wheel. I have a Logitech G25 <coughs> at the moment. So San Gregorio to Moron is 10,000 kilometers. So that totals at 20, let's call it 22,000 kilometers then. Uh, it was nice watching the train from the road instead of the side of the road <laughs> this time. <laughs> um, I think it comes down to which roads are available. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was like it's like 13, 14,000 perhaps kilometers between San Gregorio and Moron in game. Maybe because we don't have the exact same roads, of course, that we have IRL. And for the um, Vladivostok Calais parts, 16,000 or something. Uh, the ferry distance I have is 3,500 kilometers, but that is only because I created that ferry connection. <laughs> it doesn't really exist. Uh, EAA doesn't have it. Uh, 
the reason I use uh, why I'm using San Gregorio is because I removed all the EAA ferries to Calais and then created a new ferry connection from Calais uh, down to San Gregorio. Uh, and I didn't bother with the uh, number of kilometers uh, it is. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, Avoken, uh, I'm from Japan. That didn't work. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not from Japan. I'm from, uh, I'm actually from Norway. Uh, ah, let's have a look at the map again then. Why not Punta Arenas or Ushuaia? Is that uh, because they don't have a built in um, ferry connection? San Gregorio does because it has a ferry connection to Primavera. Sorry, yeah, to Primavera. Um, if I were to use Ushuaia instead, I would first have to create a map mod and create a proper ferry connection down here and then i could add my ferry connection down there but i i couldn't do that so <laughs> right <laughs> well uh thing is i i was born in norway I spent my first 18 years in Norway, but I've spent my last, most of the last 32 years in Sweden. So I feel more at home here in Sweden than I do in Norway. So that's why it's a Swedish flag and not a Norwegian one. I just happen to like samurais. I love Japan. Honest to God, I would love to spend a year living in Japan. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I just love the people there, the culture, the sights, the all of it. There's nothing I don't like about Japan. Welcome, Occult Sim. Uh, I only speak English. I knew, know some Norwegian and Swedish, but other than that... <laughs> Do I like sushi, Richard? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, I had sushi yesterday. I'm very proud to say that both my kids love sushi. Quite possibly even more than I do. So we have sushi at least once per week. Hi Dylan, Slayton Traffic and Storm Chaser. <laughs> Welcome to the world's longest haul of 2020. 30,288 kilometers. Yeah, J Japan is just absolutely incredible. Uh, I 
I'll never forget it. People are incredibly friendly. Uh, I love everything about it. Uh, Dylan, since you're on YouTube, check out the video description. You'll find a link to not only the truck that I'm using, you'll find a link to both East and Express, the map mod I'm using on right now, as well as EAA and the traffic, no, sorry, the ferry mod that I'm using. All of it, links in the video description. Uh, not only is it modern, but it's also very traditional there in Japan. No, I just love that combination. Uh, I love the different subcultures you have there. Uh, it's it's all just magnificent. Uh, let's see. I need to refill my coffee cup with more water don't pour water and drive at the same time that's a stupid idea but I'm gonna do it anyway and this time it actually worked there we go cheers everyone Pavel, after 50 years in Norway, Sweden and Denmark, I can assure you we have nothing compared to the Japanese culture. <laughs> I mean, we, we don't we don't care as much about our traditions as, as the um, Japanese do. Um, we don't have people dressing up in traditional Swedish, Norwegian, Danish clothes on a regular basis like they do in Japan. Um, uh, Russo TV, this is Eastern Express, a paid Russian map mod that is notoriously difficult to buy. Um, but I have it right now, so we are enjoying that for the first 15 hours or so of my world longest haul 2020 uh, I'm also using this to get a bit EAA and that's it so it's not really a map combo it's just two map mods that I'm using Storm Gaming official Twitch, I'm totally with you. It drives me insane almost when there is a release of a new phone. It doesn't matter if it's Apple or Samsung or anyone, but they're bragging about how incredibly thin the thing is and how lightweight it is. And you just know that none of that really matters because you're going to have to slab on that stupid case on top of it anyway, which makes it twice as like as it used to be so I don't understand why uh, they don't create a proper phone anymore like Scania always did so Scania like Nokia always did that doesn't require you to add a stupid case on top of the thing um, anyway are you kidding me, Eagle? Project Greenland got released, first version? Okay. Uh, now remind me why we're doing this for a week. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'm not going to go to bed after this live stream. I guess I will be looking at Project Greenland instead.
Project Greenland, you'll find it on the SES forum. I, I think it is on the SES forum, or is it on the Promos forum? I can't remember. Uh, but it is a very, very interesting map mod. I really look forward to trying that out. Uh, IRL, there are no roads between the different cities uh, in Greenland, so I'm not really sure how it's working. My young, it came out earlier today. I don't think anyone can answer that question yet. I mean, you can probably load it with uh, with the map combo, but will it actually work? Who knows? It's on Discord. Maybe it is there. Hmm. I honestly thought I, it was on the SES forum as well. Why are more and more map mods made available on Discord? I do find it kind of annoying, really. I really hope it's not a new trend we're seeing here. Uh, because it's, it's so difficult to link to those mods found on Discord. And Puha. And it's a quite common question. People asking for, for instance, um, the Red Sea map, where is it? Uh, where is Australia, uh, Alaska? <coughs> um, I wish they could just release them on the SES forum instead. Uh, I've heard that SES have a hunting game. I, I never tried it. Uh, and I I never will. <laughs> does it still work, by the way? I guess it does. Maybe it does. But uh, it's not a game that I'm dying to try out. I'm not waiting for the latest version of it, and I don't have it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, thank you, Pavel. Uh, we're going to have to refuel very soon. Well, my young, let's just say that playing a game like this, it's really difficult to ever getting bored. There's always something new to try out. I mean, you have heavy cargo now. Uh, once you have the Red Sea, sorry, the road to the Black Sea, of course, that is. Uh, you're going to have to try special transports. Uh, Greenland map is on uh, on Discord, Lucas. I'm pretty sure that either probably Olaf or uh, or uh, Eagle could put up a link to the um, to the Discord. You do have special transport. Oh, nice! I thought you only had uh, heavy cargo. <laughs> CJ, as Olaf said, it's been out for three minutes. No one knows yet. <laughs> I mean, even if someone would test it, probably above Pro Mods, probably way up there, uh, it's still gonna take more than those three minutes to load it the first time.
so it's on Rowex as well that's good easier to link to than Discord let's have a look at the map by the way uh, looks like we won't make it to Tiny tonight uh, which is a shame um, hmm. oh and there's a direct link as well to the uh, Project Greenland Add blue, Pavel. Why would I buy add blue? Does this look like a Mercedes truck? I don't use add blue. Oh yeah, some salty. Saidi? Is it Saidi or Saldis? Saidi. God, I need new glasses. Remember, you want me to um, play God again? <laughs> I could do that. Uh, let's see, straight road, and then quickly. There we go. Come on, come on, there we go. Well, originally it's the first version of Greenland. It's probably only 1.5 megabytes, so. Sounds right without having looked at it yet. Yeah, Richard, me too. <laughs> I have to try it out, see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, Gamer Bob, I'm just gonna guess. Uh, put it, put it right up there, around uh, the top somewhere, uh, just below Swedish islands. I don't know. That'll probably work. Vamps. I think you're on uh, the wrong uh, stream here, Vamps, because there is no old man here. I would check the sectors first for uh, for Greenland, just to make sure that he didn't add any of the other sectors that he shouldn't have added. For the Greenland is for ETS2 star pair, not for ATS. I'm 
always going to be older than I was when I started my hauls, no matter how short they are. <laughs> this haul, though, is... Well... It's going to take at least some of 2021 to complete it. If I'm gonna take it, uh, Thanos, uh, you mean Greenland? Yes, of course I'm gonna try it out. Uh, I've been waiting for Greenland. I'm just very curious to how he's solved the problem of the fact that there are IRL at least no actual roads outside the cities in Greenland. Uh, my young, the Greenland map was posted further up. Uh, Olaf posted the uh, direct link to me even further up in the chat. So just scroll up a bit and you'll find it. Could be that Greenland is a nightmare of tons of... Uh, Ferris, which I hate. <laughs> uh, but who knows? Ouch. I think, since it's nine o'clock, I think I'm gonna visit the tiny little town they have down here. The town of Oblepik. Can't see the rest of it. Sidey, you bought a steering wheel? That's awesome. Sounds like you're enjoying it, and I'm happy you do. Uh, once you go steering wheel, you can't go back. It's, it completely changes the experience, doesn't it? <laughs> ah, that's the first time I've been called Sweet Man. Oh, that was funny. Let's see. Oh, come on. Seriously. There we go. So, there we have it. That is today's new picture. There we go. That's today's live stream. Uh, it's nine o'clock. We have done, let's, let's have a look. We have done 6,000 kilometers today. Uh, still have another 24,000 to go, but 6,000 kilometers in one day is not bad at all. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, we didn't make it to to tiny, but um, I'm I'm still happy. Uh, made a lot of progress.
So um, if we're able to do this, we could complete the hole in four days. That's not going to happen, of course, but five days, actually. Uh, it's still not going to happen, though. Uh, but um, yeah, I have good hopes that tomorrow we could make it to Omsk. On Tuesday, we could make it to somewhere around here. On Wednesday, we could meet, go to um, Brest. And then on New Year's Eve, not only Calais, but actually before the end of 2020, we could reach San Gregorio and EAA, which is pretty good. Way better than I expected. So Zanals, yeah, it's over. It's been three hours now. Uh, the second part for the day. So it's six hours in total for the day. Uh, and I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I haven't done this in two weeks now. So I'm out of shape, I guess. But we will continue tomorrow. Uh, same time as part two today. So six o'clock. Central European time tomorrow. We will continue this uh, here on Eastern Express. And I hope to see you guys again then. And uh, now it's time to go install Greenland and try that out and see how that works. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm encouraging you guys to do as well. And till next time, take care, everyone. Good night.